Hi guys! Hi guys! And welcome back to another YouTube video! We are the Tostavin sisters, I'm Lucy. I'm Rosie. And today we're talking about our morning routine. routine. And hopefully this video will just give you some ideas of things that we find helpful and maybe you'll get some takeaways from it. Yeah, we hope so. So essentially, we get up much earlier than when our day actually needs to start to make sure that we're super productive and feeling good. Feeling fresh. Sunday birthday. <laughs> up slowly and not feeling rushed this is currently what we do every morning so we <clears throat> wake up and we have a glass of water because you wake up super dehydrated you've been asleep for eight hours eight hours in bed without any sort of water which you would never do in the daytime and if you do H2O guys <laughs> um, that's still a really really long time without H2O so we have <laughs> Oh, um, and we so, would either have just a glass of water or maybe like a vitamin C tablet, like a Barocca type thing. Um, but recently, actually, we've been drinking this um, bolt powders do like a collagen with vitamin C, and we just stir that into our water, and that's the first thing we do when we wake up. 
And then we make a hot water and lemon. Having a hot water in the morning can be really beneficial for just like flushing toxins out of your system. So once we've had, <laughs> we've made a hot drink, we'll brush our teeth, wash, wash our, our face, face maybe have a, have a shower, freshen up a little bit. Maybe shower. Yeah. Most days we would Most shower, days if, it's we would shower if it's a work day because then you're you're up and ready to go. Sometimes if I'm brave enough, I'll have a cold shower. Yeah, she does. I do not. I um, hate cold showers. Like, ugh. if the first decision you make in the day is a tricky one, then you've made a tough decision first thing, and all the yeah. others will be easy. That's why. But I also it's believe a tough that decision to have a cold shower. You want it to be something that you'll adhere to, and I've attempted cold showers. And they make me dread my morning routine. So I don't personally do it. I don't have like completely cold the whole time. Mm. I have like a warm and then I finish <laughs> on a cold. I do hear her though like. That <laughs> 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 like, sounds lovely. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure our neighbours as well like oh, 5.30. <laughs> um, and then once we showered we put on something comfy. So we might not put on our clothes for like. The rest of the day, but just something that feels like nice yeah. and comfy clothes, yeah, and bring ourselves to the sofa. Yes. recently started moisturizing mainly because we wanted to just like get our circulation going wake yourself up that little bit more and just give yourself a little bit of self-love and self-care and the lush moisturizers are heavenly smell amazing the sleepy one at night time is just amazing but now i associate the sleepy one with night time so yeah that's kind of part of our nighttime routine but this one is called sympathy for the skin and it's kind of like it's banoffee scented Coconut tea. Smells. smells like coconut. You smell like you could eat it. we basically sit down to meditate now that meditation might be five minutes might be ten minutes might be 20 minutes it's all done time dependent okay? yeah and like different days different times um, if you're completely new to meditation probably just five minutes will be enough yeah that's what I started with but I've been meditating for quite a few years now so I just put off and will meditate for a slightly longer time um, we do also usually before our meditation like light a candle or lamp that we use that's like wax melts and we put that on just to kind of make like a nice atmosphere and, and aroma in the and room it, yeah and it like sets your brain to think like okay yeah. now i'm gonna meditate yeah after we've meditated we you like to do affirmations and visualization like in her meditation i like to do affirmations out loud um she does i'll, I'll end my meditation with my affirmations and i don't say them out loud I don't really want do. anyone to know my affirmations or hear my affirmations, they're just hers. for me. Um, but there's something that like really resonates with you and it needs to be something that you really do believe. 
or, or hope to believe at some point, like something about like the way you look, the way you feel. Like the way kinda you... like I am kind, I'm selfless, I'm confident, I'm invested, I'm committed, I'm unique, I'm beautiful. Yeah, one, like one of mine is I am beautiful as well and I think the more you say your affirmations and the longer you've been saying them, the more you actually really do believe them. But I again for our neighbours do it out loud. <laughs> And I have much longer ones than that, but they're very, like, to me. I'm not going to yeah. rattle on about yeah. those to you guys And then visualisation is just my favourite bit, because you get to just visualise anything you want. Like, anything you want for your life, or how you want your day to go. So, we made this recently. It's our new, like, vision board, which sits and in our office. And here's mine. And here's Lucy's. And then this is where we're going to go one day. So this is Bali and one day we really want to do our yoga teacher training in, in Bali. Bali. So that's there and then we've got all sorts of stuff. Lucy There's my VW van yeah. that I'm going to get. It doesn't have to be green but it has to be great. There's my own gym one day and the crew. Yeah. That's me celebrating making some money. <laughs> there's, there's some cash cash money. <laughs> I'm normally like really happy and tanned and chill in my visualisation. Yeah, and I'm always just like really strong and fit and wonderful. Wonderful. And then we usually do a few minutes of reading. Mm-hmm. Whatever book and tickles our fancy. Yeah. Whether that's a page or five minutes or ten minutes, again, like it's dependent on how much time you have, but taking a, even just a page of reading a book every day amounts to a lot over a month, two months, six yeah. months, a year, so... And I get so much joy out of reading, so yeah. like, adding things into your Miracle Morning that you really enjoy really means that you'll stick to it more as well. Um, then we journal. journal, so like we express gratitude at the beginning of every day in our journals. I sometimes journal a little bit longer than maybe you do because I like to just get my thoughts on a page. And I just um, jot a few things down things I'm grateful for. I worry a lot, so my worries go in there sometimes. <laughs> but that's yeah. just what I need. And, and it, for you it might be like just a few words, it might be like one thing that you're gonna, your intention for yeah, the, the day. Yeah, intentions, I do that as well. It could just be you want to doodle and draw like a nice flower, you know? Um, and then we, we make coffee. coffee. That's when we make coffee. And then we come upstairs, so we change where we are and we do some work. Yeah. routine usually exercise as part of their morning routine which we don't anymore just because I mean sometimes we'll then go and do a workout uh, but sometimes we'll work out in the evening and stuff now because it's just so habitual for us to exercise but obviously our channel is full of workouts so if you want to do a really quick five or ten minute workout at the end of your morning routine just pick any of our YouTube workouts and or it could be go. just stretching we've got loads of stretching videos too yeah, so we we've got you covered um, and that is our miracle morning so we really hope you enjoy this video we hope you take something from it that you get some sort of like yeah excitement that you want to maybe get up a little bit earlier tomorrow um, and add some new things into your morning routines so that you just feel ahead of the day yeah. you start it in a good and positive way um, and you start it for you like you'll only be a better kinder happier person for everyone around you when you take time for you. Yeah, and also, we would love to know if you do read in the morning, or if you read at all, some book recommendations, because we're always looking for new books to read, so you can yes. put that in the comments as well, because that would be super helpful for us. 
and thank you so much for watching this video guys we really really um appreciate love it. appreciate it and love when you guys give us comments feedback thumbs up um, subscribe not down. Not. <laughs> yeah, <don't laughs> subscribe, down. subscribe if you haven't already to our channel we would love you to put in the comments evening routine if you would like us to then do like an, our evening routine like mm -hmm. obviously we talked about like we rub sleepy on our skin but like what else do we do and yeah. would you like to know and what makes us go to sleep anyway <laughs> Okay. Today, when we filmed, we actually got up at 6.30, but that's because the clocks just went back. But normally we would get up at 5.30, but you'll see. Like, but that means alarm. it would be 7.30 the whole time. I really can't get my head around it. What, so I should so have today we woke up yeah. at Today we woke up at 7.30. <laughs> Maybe I just don't mention that. New time, six thirty. So uh, that's actually seven thirty. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and if we'd got up at five thirty, we would have been six thirty. We would have had an extra hour in bed. Hi guys. Oh. <laughs> Hi guys. We are. Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. Hi. How many have we got? We try not to snooze our alarms. Yes. Um, but we hope to be downstairs by latest 5.45. Yes. Well, 5.15. Be 15 minutes. I'm Let's not talk about times. <laughs> yeah. Let's just say we go at five. <laughs> End off. Yeah. Okay. Can we End just of all this stuff. Or does it seven fifty nine or five? Fifty nine. Basically, Lucy can't cope with the texture of <laughs> going back.